Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. I want to bring you a quick forecast update. It is pretty early here in the morning, Thursday, June 25th, 2015. And here we are at 5.25 a.m. Eastern Time as I'm recording this, getting sort of an early start in the day. And you can see a pretty in intense area of thunderstorms that was severe at one time rolling through the Illinois and moving into uh, uh, Indiana. Now, this is going to potentially affect our severe weather chances later today, depending on how quickly this moves out but you can see all the cloud debris moving in from this uh, we'll talk about that in a second but that could certainly have an effect on how things uh, play out later today here we're sponsored today by welps farm and greenhouse visit them on the web weltsfarmandgreenhouse.com for all of your lawn and garden needs 812-326-2709 located there in bird's eye indiana weltsfarmandgreenhouse.com give them a call tell them southern indiana weather sent you well, let's go ahead and start out with the risk outlooks for today uh, first. Let's just go ahead and get this. Now, remember yesterday, uh, they had us in an enhanced risk zone, and I kind of thought then that that was a little bit of a, a bold move, but they have since uh, reduced it to just a slight risk over the area. So uh, slight risk for all of us over the area, looking at the individual probabilities, the tornado probabilities. Uh, the stronger threat is really uh, mostly to our west, the way things look, but a 2% risk, which is... That's significant enough. Uh, and then here's your wind, and then here's your hail. So uh, basically a 15% risk for wind and hail, and that's pretty much your main threats. Now, I also want to mention that tomorrow we have another slight risk over a small portion of the area here as well. So uh, th Friday could be an active severe weather day too. Keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and time out on future radar, and we'll see, give us a better idea of what we're looking at here. All right, so this is the radar. This is the future radar that was initiated at 8, at 8 p.m. last night. And uh, you can see as we progress in this, well, let's go to where we are right now at about 6 a.m. and just kind of look how it's doing. And there's the pretty intense system up to our north. And if we just sort of go back here, uh, future radar is doing a reasonable job. Now, uh, future radar is never going to be perfect, um, but it's... it's uh, it's doing a reasonable job. It, it's not exactly getting this into the correct position. It's actually quite a bit far behind, but it does get uh, the idea down at least. Um, as we continue on, though, hold on here. Let me get it. Let me get it back here. We continue on. You move through the day, and you see that moves off. The question is, how quickly will that move off? It at least gives you the general idea of the direction of movement. Eventually we get that cleared off and that will be important because we need the afternoon uh, clouds to, to go away. Right now we've got a, a lot of clouds coming on with this. We need this to get away from us and to get that atmosphere to see some sunshine and, and warm back up. If we don't do that, it's, it's going to be a, a hard time to end up getting a little bit of severe weather today. So we'll see how that goes. Eventually that moves on. Future radar is developing some storms later this evening. In fact, this would be about 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, the way it's starting to show some very strong storms popping up. So again, this is something, is it going to happen? Is it not? Well, right now it's really questionable for today at this point. Really, it's going to all depend, in my opinion, on how quickly this particular system moves out. Uh, if it slows down and it stays around uh, and ha clouds hang around most of the day, then we're going to have a hard time getting anything severe tonight because it's going to limit the amount of instability into the atmosphere. But, you know, on the other hand, if, if these storms uh, race out of here, get out of here pretty quickly then uh, then we've got a little bit better of shots so we'll just sort of have to monitor it as the day goes by and we'll have a little bit better of an idea now tomorrow though maybe a different story all this moves out of here tonight and you can see there's some more rain moving in but by the time Friday comes watch this and you, you can see by the time Friday afternoon comes late in the day you got what could potentially be some more strong thunderstorms firing Again, slight risk for tomorrow as well. In fact, Friday may even look stronger of a severe threat to, than what today does, in my opinion. So that's something that we'll keep in mind. One more future radar uh, quickly here for you, just to give you an idea. There's that storm complex as it sort of blew up. And actually, this future radar here, the Wharf ARW, is, is uh, handling things just a little bit better than the high-res NAM there was. But that clears this off through the area by noon or so and starts to get the cloud debris out of here. And then later this afternoon, you start to see some what could be some pretty intense storms start to fire up, not as organized into a line as what the high res NAM had, but uh, this this actually could bode worse uh, for us if it's not in the line. So we'll, we'll just have to sort of see that. Again, that moves out of there for the overnight hours, and then you come in, and then tomorrow evening, 
uh, in afternoon and evening you got what could potentially be some more severe storms firing too so it's something that we will keep an eye on regardless today folks it's going to be hot so if you got out uh, you got to be outside a lot today well here's our high temperatures expected for the day low to mid 90s across the area and of course uh, with uh, high humidity out there dew points uh, very high our heat index uh, could well exceed 100 degrees today so it's going to be a real it's going to be a scorcher out there no matter how you look at it so uh, you know, take keep that in mind. And then right now, the the IRS NAMs wanting to say even mid 80s tomorrow. That's a little higher than I'm forecasting for us. But you know, regardless, uh, it looks like it could be another warm uh, day tomorrow as well. But beyond that, there is some relief though, as you just look through the extended outlook. Yeah, that that'll be nice. All right, folks, go to southernindianaweather.com to keep up to date with the severe weather threat for today. Again, those scattered showers and thunderstorms are likely later today. Some could be severe, so just keep it tuned here to southernindianaweather.com. We'll have more details through you throughout the day on the website and on Facebook and on Twitter. Follow us at southerninwx. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. We'll keep you up to date throughout the day. Stay safe, folks.